At this point, you're probably familiar with the basic method of creating a content page within Brightspace. They go by some different terms. Brightspace is not really consistent really with what these are. But anything within the content section of Brightspace where you create a file, that's what we're talking about with content pages or, as you can see here, web pages. I'm going to show you what one looks like without any sort of templates at all. And then I'm going to show you what it can look like with some of the default templates used to create it um, and how you can go about doing that as well. Let me jump right in here at a page that I've already created. These are just some lecture notes on the Romantic era for a class I was teaching. You can see here it's pretty straightforward text but a really useful way to present some information. I don't have to bother with putting together slides. I don't have to worry about making the text fit on the slides or anything like that. And I'm not even worried about imagery right now. I just want to present a lot of information to the students. And you can see here it is, it is a good deal of information. Going forward, I may want to think about maybe chunking that up a little bit. Um, but for right now, this is what I'm working with here. And that's fine. It's straightforward. It's black text on a white background. It's pretty easy to read. Um, it's going to translate very easily from a large computer screen to a small iPhone. Again, it's fine. But let's say I wanted to give it a little more style. I wanted to kind of up my game a little bit. I wanted to make sure that all of my everything in my course had kind of a consistent look and feel to it that was a little different and a little more engaging than just black serif text on a white background. What I would do is go in and I would click on the context menu and I would click on the edit HTML. And I come into the visual editor, which is where I would have typed this in the first place. Now, if I wanted to create this page using one of the built-in templates in Brightspace, you can access those right up here near the, the title of the HTML file. Select Document Template, and I can choose any of these. These are the built-in ones. Course Overview, Course Resources. You can use them any way you want to, but they've kind of set these up to work in a certain way. They suggest, you know, this, this style would be better for a module introduction versus a course introduction, and, and so on. Um, but again, you can, you can work with these any way you want to. Now let me show you one thing you got to be very, very careful of with working with templates in Brightspace, especially if you've already got some existing content. These templates do not work the same way they work in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, where you can just apply a new template on top of the pre-existing content, and it'll suddenly magically change all the styles while preserving all your content. If you've got an existing page with some text with some content in it, and you go and you select one of these document templates, this is what happens. Gives me a big warning. You're going to replace the existing content with this template. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? And let's just say I go ahead and decide, yes, I do want to do this anyway. And there goes all of my content. I just lost it all. It's overwritten the entire page with the template page. Because that's all these templates really are. It's just cop it's basically just copying the content of one page that's sitting in a specific folder in Brightspace and dropping it into another page in Brightspace. And it doesn't care what's already there or what's not there. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this conclusion template. I think this looks a little bit better. But I need to bring in that that content that I just lost. Now, like I said, I actually did save it. So I'm going to go ahead and, through the magic of video, make it reappear here. And as you can see now, I've entered that content back into this page. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Close. All right, so now we have a page. And again, this, this looks just a little bit more engaging. It looks a little more organized. It looks like I put a little bit of thought into the appearance of the page itself. It's not just the default text style. I've got this nice big banner up here, which again explains what it is. The text is a little bigger to read. It's also in a, in a sans serif font, which is actually preferable when you're working with um, 
text that's going to be read, read on the screen. Everything's a little more spaced out, which is nice. The bullet points, uh, instead of just having those basic black dots, have these nice little um, arrow icons. It's a bit much, right, because these are pretty long lists, right? Um, and down here, this is one of the big changes. You'll notice that tables are much, much nicer looking, right? And there we have it, a content page that's been improved by using one of the built-in default templates within Brightspace.